Crypto tutors, crypto tutors, crypto tutors, hey. It's a way. Making money in my sleep? Making money in my sleep. Step by step, click by click. Waves, Bitcoin, stable coin, we got the tips. Get ahead of the curve, time is now. Bitcoin at 40,000, what's the new cash cow? Become a tutor, make money from your knowledge. Turn the risk into wealth, we decentralized college. Enroll today before it's too late. And get the bag, the future now awaits. Crypto, tutors, crypto, tutors, crypto, tutors, hey. It's a way. Making money in my sleep? Making money in my sleep. Want to learn more? Visit CryptoTutors.com. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Two best friends. Hey, Zeta. Just wanted to say hi to everyone. This is our first time actually live streaming, so we're so excited. Um, before we go ahead and get started, just thought we could start off by introducing ourselves. And then we'll go ahead and we'll share our career path in terms of how did we start crypto tutors and our journey, personal journeys with cryptocurrency. Because man, we were scared. <laughs> it's very intimidating stuff, yeah. though. Let's keep it real. That's why we started crypto tutors. But we'll get into all of that. Awesome. Well, I'll start off with my introduction. Hi, everyone. My name is Nina Blankenship. And um, to tell you a little bit about myself before I, I got into um, crypto tutors is that um, I came from working in recruitment. Then after that, I was working at LinkedIn in New York, and I'll share that story with you in a little bit. And most recently, I was working out of Singapore for um, LinkedIn. And um, I'll tell you about what happened to me during COVID and why I came back. We're actually streaming right now from Orlando, Florida. And um, I started a company called Let's Brainstorm which does viral video media production. And long story short, which we're gonna get into in just a minute, after that, we started together with Lisa and Moetti, who are co-founders of Crypto Tutors. Um, we went ahead and we started Crypto Tutors. So yeah, that's a little bit about me and I'll pass it over to Lisa. Hi, I'm Lisa Francoeur from Farrell for all my Haitians out there. Yep, yep, which is an actually a Jamaican thing, but it's cool. It's all about the Caribbean connection. Um, I am one of the co-founders with Nina and Moetti, as she mentioned, of Crypto Suitors. And prior to becoming as vested as I am in crypto and blockchain, I have spent the last 10 plus years of my career in tech selling uh, software solutions from startups that specialize in search engine optimization and, and mobile optimization uh, engagement to Fortune 100s, including LinkedIn, where I met Nina. And, you know, it's been a incredible journey that also led me to um, create my own company called Fancy Five. And that is where I scale empowerment globally. Now, one of the practi uh, practical applications of scaling empowerment globally is financial empowerment, which is what led me to be super duper, one of the many reasons that led me to be super duper excited about the work that we're doing at Crypto Tutors, where we are simplifying cryptocurrency and blockchain through e-learning, one-to-one tutoring, and edutainment. So we kicked this conversation off with the Crypto Tutors anthem. Definitely check that out if you haven't heard. We want to hear from you. We want to hear what you think about our uh, edutaining content. And we're happy to host you here today on the live stream at Theta TV. Ooh, well, we wouldn't be crypto tutors if we weren't tutoring, right? So for those of you who are rocking and rolling with us today, we would love to let you know and let you see the type of work that we're doing at Crypto Tutors by pairing you with a tutor. So we invite you all to go to CryptoTutors.com and see what tutor makes the most sense for you. We have basic tutors that will help you with setting up the accounts to the exchanges where you can uh, buy, trade, custody crypto. 
and, and more advanced tutors that can teach you about NFTs, which are non-fungible tokens, aka digital assets. Yeah, so tell us where you're at in your crypto journey. And if you go to CryptoTutors.com, you scroll all the way down to the bottom. Tell us about your crypto journey. And then um, at the end of this month, we'll actually be announcing who has won the one hour of free tutoring. So don't forget to go to CryptoTutors.com. Um, now, let's go ahead and if you can relate to how intimidating crypto was, how scary it is, don't forget to hit that donate button and give us a little bit of um, tea fuel, some coins, right, <laughs> um, to help support us. Several years ago, uh, Nina and I, we started our best friend journey. We started our career actually at LinkedIn together. We were legitimately in the same onboarding, um, a part of the same onboarding course. I'm from New York and Nina is from Florida, but she was uh, recruited to work for LinkedIn in and out of the New York office. And thankfully, you know, that brought her and I together. And, you know, I remember seeing her and being like, Ooh, who's that? You know, I was just like so intrigued by her. You know, you'll get to see the more you come back to our live stream and get to know each of us, uh, but get to know her, you'll see why I was so intrigued. So I was like, I need to be her friend. Like, I don't know where her story is. I don't know what she's about, but like, I need to be her friend. And um, I was I was not only right, but we have become the best of friends and now we are business partners. And um, yeah, that's that. Yeah, and when I saw Lisa, we both started on the exact same day. We had the same exact onboarding. You know, she's so captivating. <laughs> And um, you know, I made it to say that people don't have tea fuel. <laughs> people just like gravitate towards her, right? She's got amazing style, as you can see. And um, I just went up to her and I was like, "Um, you've got great style. Let's be friends." <laughs> it, was, it was that simple. It was that simple. And um, yeah, so then ever since that was 2015, 15. January. Uh, fifth or seventh you know it's seventh real seventh. when you remember the exact date of when <laughs> you and your best friend connected and yeah all that good stuff I think I mentioned that you know I personally have been selling software uh, SaaS uh, software as a service for several years um, you know I have a I know you have a baby face so it's kind of hard to believe that that I could have 10 plus years of experience in tech but um, that's a fact. And so at LinkedIn, I was selling uh, software to Fortune 500s. And so I was one of um, what you call an enterprise account executive. And so again, selling to Fortune 500s and uh, in the talent solutions. For all my LinkedIners out there, okay, so let me give you some perspective on when I say talent solutions, right? When I say, um, you know, the work that, that I did, I wanna give you clarity as to what it looked like in terms of software as a service. So as you know, LinkedIn is the world's largest professional social network. And there are hundreds of, you know, thousands, millions of people on the platform. And you yourself may have received an email message from a recruiter asking about whether or not you were open to opportunities. You might've been recruited on LinkedIn. Well, guess what? That's a software called Recruiter. And that's one of the tools that was in my uh, toolkit to sell to Fortune uh, 500. So yeah, that's in a nutshell what uh, what I was doing. Yeah, so we're based out of the New York office and about a year after me working out of the New York office, um, I started um, to transfer my career with LinkedIn to go to Singapore. And for, um, I've now been in the, back in the US, but I was in Singapore for four years and I was, uh, heading up the East Coast um, for the search and staffing division. Sorry, I meant, I meant the, all of APAC, it wasn't the East Coast, but all of the, the um, that is, you know, North Asia, Southeast, uh, South Asia, Southeast Asia, and Australia and New Zealand, and um, really providing clients advice about their marketing strategies. <laughs> How many of you guys can relate to just the ah! of COVID? It was crazy, right? So in in uh, February 10th is when in Singapore there were 46 cases of COVID, and at that point, Lisa and my parents were we like, had a campaign. Hold on a second. Yes. Yes. Hashtag bring me home. <laughs> yes. yes. Her and her mom. <laughs> no, excuse me. Um, her mother and I were literally like creating a campaign to bring her home. I was in Cali. 
at that time. And, you know, she was in Singapore and we were watching the situation unfold. And like, we at that time had no inclination that it was going to be as severe as, as it's been globally, right? It wasn't a global pandemic. It wasn't something that at that point, at that point yeah. it, it was really just in China and like, it was one of those, actually, I had a friend, we had a friend who was a, a clinical research scientist who had said to us, we need to pay a lot of attention to this. And at that time, Nina was going, um, you had been visiting the States, you were visiting me in Cali, um, you, were, you were going back, and I think like a week or two later, we were like, nah, like, you can, yeah. yeah. So basically, I just booked a flight to come back. One way. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking I would be back in Singapore in a few months. She never went back, folks. Yeah, I never went back. Um, and now I've been here back in Orlando, um, for over a year now. Wow, I never thought I would say that. And so um, hold on a second. So so Orlando to, to New York, New York to Singapore, Singapore to uh, Orlando. Yep, exactly. And That's her flight path, folks. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then after that, you know, I had started one company, but I was really feeling very passionate about cryptocurrency, and that's because. Um, you know, one of our other business partners, his name is Noletti, he started teaching me about cryptocurrency and he actually used to be my tutor at university. Before he became our crypto tutor. Yeah, exactly. He was my statistics tutor. <laughs> and then he helped me to get all A's in my classes, um, in my statistics classes. I actually graduated with a major in finance and um, yeah, it was, it was really inspiring and so nice to have um, somebody that you can talk to and I feel like many people on their crypto journey, you know, let us know where you're at in your crypto journey. Don't forget to go to cryptotutors.com and scroll down to the bottom and in the, um, in the form, you can tell us where are you at in your crypto journey to be able to win one free hour of, um, a crypto tutors tutoring session. One of the challenges with crypto and blockchain is it's not only intimidating, you don't want to sound like, you know, you don't want to sound stupid, right? Like it can be kind of nerve wracking to, to you know, say, actually, I, I don't know that. Because the thing about crypto and blockchain is that it's like one term that you don't know is explained with another term that you don't know is explained <laughs> with another term that you don't know. And then you go down this rabbit hole of, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And to be honest with you, I think that that's one of the many reasons why we even started Crypto Tutors to help you know, really simplify it, but not to interrupt. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, especially as a diverse female. Because I'm black, just yeah, saying. And I'm half Japanese, just so you know. Um, <laughs> you know, it's like we, we didn't know, like, where do we start? You know, what's the, the first thing, even when you're creating your account, we're pressing on buttons. And I was like mortified, like, oh my God, I'm going to mess up and I'm going to lose all my money. But we only put it's in like $5. Like, <laughs> we only put in like 100 bucks at first. Yeah, was, starting out to make sure that we knew the steps. But it was so nice just to be able to have somebody walk you through the steps and also just to increase your financial literacy. Because even if you're against cryptocurrency or you're for it, regardless, you should know what everybody's talking about so you can voice your opinion. Um, another thing I'll add to that is, you know, there's a lot of uh, conversation in the public arena about cryptocurrency. And the thing is, especially when you're talking about investments, you should never, ever invest in anything that you do not know, you know, you do not understand. And, you know, when we talk about our crypto journeys, you know, I can speak from my own experience in that um, I was not only intimidated, but I don't think that had I not had Nina and Moetti to hold my hand through the process that I would have been as keen to to take those steps and so you know now that we are pretty knowledgeable about the space we have a whole entire company that we created around crypto and, and blockchain we have content like this that uh we're going to be releasing in conjunction with showcasing subject matter experts so that each of you are able to take those steps our whole thing is how do you transform knowledge into wealth well, it starts with educating yourself, but it also means that you have to apply what you learn. And so I think it's really important to, to underscore how, you know, ultimately it's on you as to whether or not you want to learn. And so if you want to learn, then you need to make sure you follow Crypto Tutors across every social media channel, subscribe to our newsletter, subscribe to um, Theta TV, by the way, shout out to Theta TV for recognizing that, you know, folks that look like us needed a voice in the crypto and blockchain space. We thank you. Yep. 
And so, um, yeah, so basically I came back from Orlando, or came back to Orlando and got in touch with Lloyd. He started teaching me about how to trade it in cryptocurrency. And then I started asking for Lisa to learn. Crypto Black knows what's up. He said, uh, or he or she said, Crypt, great job, ladies. Yes, we're trying to make crypto fun and, and entertaining. I mean, look at this, like, who would have thought, right? <laughs> Sorry, give us some fuel, give us some fuel. We need some, some fuel, data, yeah. data fuel, T fuel, what's up? And um, basically what happened was that, um, you know, a lot of people within blockchain and cryptocurrency are highly intelligent, right? And the way that people were explaining cryptocurrency to us was, oh, you know, there's five steps. No, wait, 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 hold on a second, hold on. Moeni, who is an algorithmic trader, he has a PhD in statistics. I know his whole resume is ridiculous, but I say that to say, you know, this is someone who like lives and breathes trading. He's a professional trader, right? And so when you're talking about the simplicity associated with, with trading uh, crypto, for somebody like that, of course it's like, yeah, it's like five steps. For, for, for people who are like novice or just getting into the game, it's like a hundred thousand. Yeah. It's like, yeah, right in the chat, if you're a beginner, if you're advanced, if you're intermediate, if you if you're still learning on your learning path, because it's a journey. Like, you know, there's over eight thousand cryptocurrencies and right? counting and counting. So it's like, where do you even start? It's very overwhelming, and so that's what we're hoping to help alleviate. Hi, I like yay, yeah, bio phoenix. Hi, 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 I'm out with it. <laughs> yeah, so don't forget to hit the follow button so that we can continue to learn on our journey. I mean, to be honest with you, the extent of what I knew about crypto was very much about the Silk Road and like the illicit purposes associated or the you know illicit use cases that were associated with crypto. So, um, you know, I wasn't necessarily and and then on top of that, the volatility associated with Bitcoin. Right. So, you know, 2017, I think the market crashed and it went from being 17,000, believe it or not, that was like the peak, that was the pinnacle. So like, I don't know, 8,000 or 5,000, I don't recall, but the point of, the point is that that was the extent. It wasn't necessarily anything positive in, in relation to the functionality, the capability, you know, the notion of being able to um, quickly, um, you know, quickly do peer-to-peer -peer transactions, you know, the, the, the notion of being able to um, reduce uh, uh, transaction fees to, you know, making it like pretty negligible, negligible transaction fees, all these benefits associated with cryptos, the store value in relation to Bitcoin, like all these benefits were not within my purview. And I uh, didn't really have the motivation to, to explore. And it really wasn't until, you know, you were saying, Nina was saying to me, look, I have somebody that, you, that I want you to meet. You know, Moetti is very much about empowerment, our other co-founder. Um, and I'm very much about, you know, empowerment. That's what Fancy Five does. That's who I am. So she was like, let me get you guys together and let's just see what happens. And both of you, like him and I were like, okay, whatever. You know, she's my best friend. I trust her with my life. So she says it, I'm going to listen. I know, I know. I love you so much. So she says, I'm going to listen. And she put the three of us on um, a conference call together. And then he started to explain to me the sort of principles and, and the capabilities with crypto. And at that point, I was like, whoa. This is major. Yeah. And just my overall impressions is, you know, you only hear about Bitcoin, right? And it's crazy volatile. Like one day you're up 50%, the next day you're down 20%, and it's up and down, up and down. Not down. everybody has a stomach for that, bro. Like, ah! <laughs> right? Um, and I, I didn't know anything about other cryptocurrencies. And so that's really what my fear was, was always having to be involved in cryptocurrencies that were highly volatile. Um, but what we're gonna be explaining later on is that there are other cryptocurrencies that are actually stable. So you can look at, if you're very interested in learning about what the stable cryptocurrencies are, check out CryptoTutors.com. We have a full e-learning course that teaches you how to make money while you sleep. So how to make money while you sleep because you can actually make money from staking. And staking is similar to like dividends and stock. So regardless if, but in this case, regardless if the price of the, of the stable coin goes up or down, you still get the benefits from staking. So you're still earning that interest 
of 10 to 15 percent. But let's talk a little bit about staking because I think it's, or excuse me, stable coins, which I think is also very critical as far as us being crypto tutors and making sure that folks understand, you know, um, don't invest in anything that you do not understand, right? So the interesting thing about stablecoin and what makes it stable is that it's it's pegged to a fiat currency, for example. And so by virtue of being collateralized by a, another asset, you know, I talked about fiat currency backing stablecoin, but also other cryptos can, uh, can, can be pegged to stablecoin. And that in and of itself is what enables the, the coin to remain stable. That's what stabilizes it. We wanna make sure that when you all are starting your crypto journey or are well, you know, on the path of your crypto journey, you're aware of assets that can shield you from the volatility, that can help you generate interest, you know, and, and particularly with the uh, Crypto Tutors e-learning course, how to make um, make money while you sleep with Stablecoin USDN. We really do a very thorough job of walking you through step by step and click by click, as we say in the Crypto Tutors Anthem, so that you are supported through the process of what you need to do in order to invest. Not that we're advisors, not that we're making any recommendations. We're just wanting to shed light and give you options around how you can continuously make um, money, whether the market is up or down. Yep, and if you can appreciate that, don't forget to follow us, subscribe to us, donate to our channel, so that way we can feel the love from you. Oh yeah, and I see over here that uh, Amazon G Fuel got into mining. Let us know if you guys are interested in learning about um, Bitcoin mining, Ethereum mining, mining in general. We should also talk about yield farming, but that's another, that's more advanced. We'll get into that later. Awesome. So now that we've went ahead and we told you all that we were so scared and mortified um, to start off in the crypto journey, um, what's up next? Don't forget to donate to our channel and let us know where you're at in your crypto journey. And actually, why don't we have some folks write in the chat? Does anyone want to share, you know, where they began their crypto journey? I want to make sure. Nad, 88, 77, 88. Exactly. Look at these muscles. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> but uh, we would love, we would love, love, love to, to hear from you all, right? Like, ultimately, one of the things that matters the most to me about the crypto blockchain um, world is the community. You know, like I love the fact that we have, you know, such a strong community overall. And it's a really beautiful thing to see that much like these digital currencies that have a universal appeal, you know, like they're not relegated to any, you know, central authority. It's not like, you know, the currency belongs to any, any one country, any, any you know, um, person or company or what have you. It's for everyone. And I love that universality. And I think that when we talk about community you know whatever wherever you're from in the world whatever you look like you're black or brown male female etc like there's everyone is represented in this space and it's a really beautiful thing to see um folks like annex on g fuel i want fuel <laughs> matthias quintana nat 88 77 88 it's like all of us coming together so yes awesome yeah so that's why we started crypto shooters because number one we have to have reverse representation but also to simplify things, we're here to turn knowledge into wealth. So if you're feeling that, let's go ahead and um, subscribe to our channel, follow us, and um, don't forget to go to CryptoTutors.com and let us know where you're at in your cryptocurrency journey because we want to give you one free hour of one-to-one -one tutoring with our crypto tutor. And another thing I'll say is like, as a black female, you know, and as, you know, an Asian female, like when you think about crypto and like blockchain, you don't necessarily, you don't see a lot of representation for folks that look like us. And this is another thing that we are striving to um, solve for. And that is making sure that, you know, wherever you are in the world, you see that there's a, 
a variety of faces and 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 cultures represented in this space. You know, like Loeli is Zimbabwe American, I'm Haitian American, Nina's half Japanese, half Caucasian, and you know, the three of us coming together to create this company. What we're also wanting to to do is showcase that, like, if you're part of an underrepresented community, you know, or not, uh, this is a space for you, and it's really important that. As we prepare for not just the future, but the, the but the present, that you are aware of the 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 evolution, not even revolution, but the evolution that is underway. Because crypto be left behind. That coupled with the fact that like, you know, crypto is becoming a part of our everyday life. You know, you see uh, institutional investors now coming into the marketplace. You have mass mutual, you know, investing a hundred million dollars. You have MicroStrategy, uh, Tesla, for, excuse me, Elon Musk. Um, now Tesla will be accepting Bitcoin as payment. Uh, $1.5 billion were, were purchased in Bitcoin. So I say all of that to say, like, this is not going anywhere. And since knowledge is power at Crypto Tutors, we want to make sure that you're able to transform that knowledge into wealth. Awesome. So now that you got to know a little bit about us, in the next week's episode, Thursday at 1 p.m., we're going to be going coming back to Theta TV, and we're going to be demystifying cryptocurrency. I just feel like if I did this, it's like demystifying, like, hmm? You know what I mean? Like, does that mean, does that give you demystifying vibes? I see over here that Robert Her said, good job. I hope you pull up next week or, yeah, yeah, come see us. There's so many questions, right? And there's a lot of intimidation when it comes to cryptocurrency. And we even heard from somebody last week that said, you know, I, there's, it seems like there's this, you know, entry level knowledge, which is right here. And then the next step is, you know, to the sky. It's, it's like there's 20,000 levels. It's like zero to 100. Yeah, zero to 100. So um, come back next week because we're going to be demystifying cryptocurrency. 1 p.m. next Thursday, yeah. 1 p.m. Eastern. And that's it. We're going to leave you with our song. 30 minute power half an hour. What's good? And don't forget, um, we have more of our videos. It's a way on data. So you can check out the of our step by step. Our animated music video. Waves, and our music video. Waves, 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 Grant Shadden, you hit the nail on the head. Crypto is the future and it's happening now. Exactly. Making money in my sleep? If you have content, I want to see in the comments. I, I, I didn't feel like, you know, I, want, I need validation, you know? Like the blockchain, I need to have my transactions validated. <laughs> okay, thank you all. See you next week, Thursday at 1 o'clock.